Hi there, hello. For those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Rana al -Falaki. I am an author, a life and business coach, a periodontist, so uh, as well as healing people's mindsets, I, I, I work on patients, uh, but I'm also a Rahani energy healer as well. And uh, during this week, while well, I've been treating uh, patients and I live here in London in the UK, I have really got to the stage where I was treating a patient yesterday and um, you know, it was about an hour long, we had music going on, so I'm just concentrating on what I needed to do on this patient, but I had this kind of this download into my head that just compelled me to say, I need to do this, so this is why I am live with you today, not here to promote uh, anything but but wanting to send some healing out there more than anything else um, what's going on in the world at the moment is something I think we've never really known we've had pandemics before but they were pre the world of social media and the world was so much larger then whereas now it's an incredibly small small space where not only can we uh, jump on an airplane and travel halfway across the world uh, in the space of 24 hours uh, but um, but we we know so much about each other uh, through social media so why don't we use the power of social media to try to create a sense of, of calm so if I tell you what's going on in the UK well um, uh, when I went to work on Tuesday my nurse said there's no toilet paper in the supermarket it's like really god what the hell has happened and and i knew this from a, a very dear friend of mine who's in italy where, where um, they were then in isolation because of the coronavirus uh, and she told me all the shops were empty weeks ago apparently um, for those of you who do live in england be assured that um, the toilet paper will come back on the shelves their, their supermarkets just need to kind of work out what's going on and get the stock going but the point is, is that we are in, in this mass media frenzy, we are experiencing a massive, crazy amount of fear. People are waking up in the mornings and the first thing they do is go and turn on the news or pick up their phone to see, oh my God, where is the virus? Has it got any closer to me? Uh, has it affected anybody that I know? Is it in my country? Is it in my neighborhood? Uh, and it is crazy, it's crazy what's going on. And collectively, I mean, I also uh, teach law of attraction. So collectively, if we think about energy, if we are all em starting to emanate from that place of fear, then what happens is we can uh, collectively, we create so much negative energy in the world and that fear propagates and we're feeding each other time and time and time again. And it's just creating more and more negativity. And it's so destructive, it's that type of energy, it's destructive. And of course, the media um, has stories to sell and boy, is this a massive story. And yeah, I wanna get back to, you know what, let's, let's start saying some happy stories and let's start sending out messages of love and compassion. And for those of you that are fearful, then of course you're going to be, and I can understand it. You may have loved ones who you're worried about. You know, we're worried about our parents who are older. You're, you know, from the statistics at the moment in China, there are you're seven times more likely to die from the virus if you're in your 80s. If you're in your 70s, you're four to five times more likely. If you're in your 40s, then actually the risk is just 0.2%. So actually, my message is maybe we can stop worrying so much about ourselves and yet let's start showing some compassion and let's start calming everybody down um, and it's funny I've seen different reactions in people we've had reactions from people where um, they've been like oh well it doesn't affect me so I don't care we've had ones of irresponsibility which uh, my my dear friend I, sh I shared her post yesterday Melinda Kapoor um, described what happened where all these people jumped on the train and 42 people were, were taken off the train having a fever or having coronavirus and yet because they didn't want to be isolated they, they're then going out irresponsibly potentially spreading it to other areas um, and you've got other people who are sort of feeling very compassionate and very concerned and you have an awful lot of people who are feeling powerless worried um, not just for their health they might you know put it in perspective they they're not worried about their health it's not going to affect them and they obviously they may be worried about their families 
but they're worried about how it's going to affect them in other ways. You know, are their kids' schools going to close? In which case, how are they going to sort out childcare? Are their businesses going to close? Especially small businesses who have such a small window. Um, you know, for me as a dentist, you know, we're being briefed every day uh, on what we need to do. In which case, will our practice need to shut down? Will our children's nurseries need to shut down? Uh, you know, what's happening with our with our patients? But, but in that, let's start changing that fear to what can we do to actually help calm everybody down and what can we do to help people so that when we wake up in the morning, we're not at a point of, oh my God, you know, the world is an absolute disaster and what the hell's going on to one of, what can I do to help? What can I do to serve? What can I do to help heal? And let's collectively start telling ourselves that all will be well, all will be well in the world. and everybody will be healed and this is not a disaster and if we start our day and start emanating from that energetic point of view then we have so much more strength and power whether we know it or not uh, to be able to send healing out into the world and to be able to like i said just calm us all down and if we're all calm then the people that's around us will be calm and just think of those situations in your everyday life you know um, it's something we call in uh, when i teach emotional intelligence something we call contagion and that is exactly what's going on at the moment not only is this virus so highly contagious but this frenzy of fear is becoming incredibly contagious so what I'm asking you to do and what I'm going to ask you to do is please share this video and I'm going to do a, a healing meditation in a minute as well and I just ask you please please share this video to as many people as you can to pass on this message let's make this message contagious that we don't need uh, to be uh, to be fearful we don't need this mass hysteria uh, we can put plans in place and everything really will be okay and we all have the ability to pass on uh, that healing and that sense of calm to each other uh, rather than one of complete and utter negative energy. Um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. That was my little rant. Um, but yeah, let's let's make that word contagion spread, but 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 spread with one of of positivity and a message that says all all will be all will be well with us. Um, but we yeah we do need to take some responsibility. We need to instill gratitude for what we have. Uh, we need to engage in a sense of purpose and in a sense of opportunity. That actually, while this is uh, you know the World Health Organization has said you know that this is obviously a, a state of emergency in our world. But at the same time, what's the opportunity here? Well, I'm not talking about business opportunities. I'm talking about opportunities to, to wake up, opportunities to awaken, opportunities to send love into the world, opportunities to learn about ourselves uh, and how we can help uh, others, which is a, a massive, massive thing. And for any of you who are light workers, as am I, then again, I would ask you to spread this message too. Um, so I'm going to put some music on and it's just going to be like a five minute um, audio uh, meditation and uh, for those of you who are uh, who are who can cope with my woo woo side like I said I am an energy healer so I've called in um, angels archangels healing guides that will be passed through uh, through this message of healing which is why I'd love you to send it to so many people um, and I have put a, um, a, a a similar video on YouTube so for anyone who doesn't have Facebook then I will post the link uh, for the YouTube video uh, to pass on as well um, and I've also put the audio uh, uploading it onto my website now if anyone just wants the the healing meditation and I won't mention the word coronavirus in the meditation because it might be a nice thing for you to actually just keep hold of and start your day feeling calm so but um, so that's being uploaded to a link as we speak which is uh, on my website which is www.lightchangescoaching.com forward slash coronavirus okay I'm gonna start some music and uh, it's just gonna take five minutes Okay, so I would invite you, if you wish, to close your eyes and just take a few deep breaths. So just take a big breath in and breathe out. And again, big breath in and breathe out. And again, big breath in, tense everything up, your hands, your feet, your eyes, your face, 
and as you breathe out, just let it all go. Now I'd like you to imagine yourself surrounded by white light. Now this isn't just a ball of light. This light has a shape, it has the shape of a star. Imagine yourself surrounded by this white light shaped in a six-pointed star and it's enveloping you completely. This light is healing light. This light makes you feel calm and safe and powerful. This light has healing properties. This healing light has positive energy that makes you feel happy and takes away all your fears. You feel so safe in this light. And now see this star, this six-pointed star of light spreading, spreading to the people around you. See this six-pointed healing star spread to the person next to you, spread to your families, your friends, your children, your parents. And as it spreads, feel even more powerful and happy knowing that you are able to do something to help others around you. You are able to do something to collectively spread this sense of calm and peace in the world. See that healing light spread, not only to the people, but to the buildings, the place where you work. See it spread to the government buildings and the people in there, and therefore the message that they can pass on. See it spread all around your home, all around your city or your town, all around your green spaces. And feel powerful that you can help. You feel safe and you feel fearless and you feel happy. Know that you can spread this healing light everywhere. Now I'd like you to picture the world. You might see that as a globe, you might see it as a map on the wall. But as you do, place that globe in that star with you. See that world in that six-pointed star and know that all will be well and you are playing a role in spreading that healing to the world. To helping to heal people, people from their fear, people from their tragedies. Help to collectively come together as one for we are all one. And just really engage with that feeling of peace. And know that when you start your day with that feeling of calm and that feeling of peace, you pass that calm and that peace onto the person next to you. And the next, and the next. You spread that calm to people around you and places around you and feed off each other. And I'd just like you to ask yourself, ask yourself what action can you take that will help somebody? It might be a work colleague, it may be a family member, it may be a friend, it may be a message you can pass on through social media to people you don't even know. But what action can you take to help spread love and calm into the world? Because you've just experienced it and you want to share it. Just picture that white light and that six pointed star and know that it is available to you anytime you need it.
you are safe. You are loved. And you have the ability to love others and spread healing light into this world. And then I'd invite you, I'll count from five up to one and just open your eyes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so thank you for those of you who joined me and listened to my rant earlier. Um, and like I said, wherever you are, probably in the middle of your working day or, or a lot of my uh, followers in the States are just waking up. But please, please pass this message because this is what we need. We don't need the media, media frenzy going crazy. We don't need scaremongering. Yes, we need action. Yes, we need plans. But we also just all need to just calm down a little bit um, because that is how we can actually help each other and that's what we need to do. Um, I know some of you, I can see some of you who are my dentists who are watching, hi guys, and people I've worked with, in which case, you know, again, all of you, and just, um, we can pass that on to our patients as well, which is certainly what I'm trying to do as also. So as I said before, please pass this video on to as many people as you know, and ask them to share it too, you know, to share that healing meditation. Um, I would be so, so grateful. And like I said, if you only want the audio, it's on my website as well, lightchangescoaching.com forward slash um, coronavirus. And there's a YouTube video as well, and I'll post the link too. Um, so please play your role in helping to share, share this message. Thanks so much for those of you who have tuned in live. Uh, so lovely to see these beautiful names. Take care. Bye-bye.